What's up, everybody? It's SuperGaff, just the Xbox here, and today we're going to be uh, beta testing uh, a VPN. I was notified by the developers of CyberGhost VPN, and uh, I was alerted that I was eligible to take part in the beta testing of their new uh, app on TestFlight, CyberGhost 6.0, which allows you to uh, protect your Wi-Fi uh, hotspot. So, um, obviously, for the beta testing, we are going to be reviewing the app based on its content. And if you wanted to make sure, oh, you're not scamming me or anything, as you can see, you can see the yellow dot right under the CyberGhost app. That means that this app is still in testing. You can also tell that I have the TestFlight app, which is what iOS developers use to beta test their apps. So, I'll go into TestFlight, and I'll open up the app. Let's see what it does. As you can see in testing, I have the CyberGhost VPN directly in there. My uh, beta test um, expires in 56 days. Now, um, we're going to be reviewing the app on such criteria. Um, user friendliness. We're going to be testing on how well it, it uh, encrypts your data. We're going to be testing its bandwidth chart, data compression, and how well it, how well, how well it responds to HTTPS. We're also going to be testing if it works well on startup. Now, before I ha already had a pre-recording of this, and um, startup was a bit glitchy. It always um, reminded me that my internet connection was not a was not enabled, even though it actually was. And then it would start messing up. Uh, it would start messing up my iPad, sending me notifications and stuff like that. But overall, it's a pretty good app. Let me just show you what it does right here. Um, one thing I have a problem with is this. Um, it always opens up as a startup app, as you can see, it just swiped it off, but it was always starts up as a, as, a, um, as a new version of the app, even though it really isn't, and that kind of annoys me sometimes. Um, but anyways, as you can see, uh, I have my encryption, I've been using it for 19 minutes and 6 seconds of counting. Um, so, uh, it only protects on Wi-Fi hotspots, so let's see, the following settings are active, military grade encryption, Hidden IP, no logs, antivirus, blocks, social tracking, and New York. Ah, uh, that's my ISO. That's my ISO right there. So you can press stop Wi-Fi protection right here. Let's just see if that works. Alright, okay, yeah. So that stops it. So I want to go through one of these. So get unrestricted access to streaming services like YouTube Pandora. Oh, unlimited streaming. Surf anonymously. Hides your IP online tracking analysis of your internet usage. Even better. And bypass censorship. Allow access to websites like Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, which might be censored in some countries. And save money. CyberGhost helps you reduce carrier costs on mobile data or when roaming, compressing all web pages you access. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So I'm going to enable compression. Data compression enabled. All right. So. Oh, I see what's going on here. That is not very good. I wanted to enable all of these features. I wanted to enable surf anonymously and data compression. That, that really sucks, man. Ugh. Stop compression. That is kind of disappointing. I wanted to enable all the features together. Save money, bypass censorship, surf anonymously. Let's try uh, free me. Stop bypassing censorship. Oh yeah, there are also uh, notification um, achievements you can get. It's kind of like a video game. It's cool. By doing different things. Anti-censorship initiate. You have just been promoted to anti-censorship initiate. It's the first time you've activated anti-censorship profile. Keep fighting for a free internet. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So let me just stop bypassing censorship. Let's see what else we got. Surf anonymously. Hides your IP and prevents online phishing tracks. Alright. Surfing anonymously. So it's going to be hiding my IP address, I guess. Super Ghosty, you've just been promoted to Super Ghosty. It's the first time you've activated the anonymous surfing profile. Stay on top of your game on, on your online privacy. 
Alright, the following encryption, military grade encryption, lock social, social tracking, alright. I wish there was an option to change locations, you know what I mean? Unlimited streaming, get unrestricted access, alright. Oh, I see. Dude, this could be used to my advantage to get so many free shows. That's actually really cool. Yeah, so let's just do secure Wi-Fi hotspot. Let's do that right now. I didn't actually know that it had all these features enabled. Alright, but it's kind of um, disappointing that it was only able to um, do one feature at a time. That's kind of disappointing, uh, but we can overlook that. Uh, what I want to test right now is the video quality. Can it support, um, can it support watching videos um, at 1080p and such and such. So we're going to view one of uh, one of my videos at 1080p. Um, this is uh, one of the latest videos that I uploaded about Tor. So, yeah. So let's just open this up at highest quality. All my videos are HD except for the first few ones. 720p. All right. See how well CyberGhost does it compressing that. Alright, starts off pretty well. Alright. It's doing pretty well. Let's try scrubbing it halfway. Now let's do backtracking. It's doing pretty well. Let's see how it does there. It streams exactly the same as any other Wi-Fi hotspot, which I really admire. It's, that's that's actually good functionality for a website, uh, for a proxy. I mean, lol. Um, so now finally we're going to test it on its military grade encryption. Can it be cracked using a cipher? So now what we're going to do is we're going to test the military grade encryption. To see if you're being encrypted, you all you had to do is go to privacy all the way down. There's also advertising, and I suggest limit ad tracking. Oh, I didn't have that on. Yeah, so ads, it's harder for ads to start tracking you. So diagnostics and usage data. So usage data. All right, so let's check right here. And let's go down. Let's go all the way down. And that's our data. Yep, all in military grade encryption. Very nice. Wow. Yeah. So, anyways, I would actually rate this app at probably a 9 out of 10. Um, all the features are great. I completely love the VPN. It's such a great... It's, it's just amazing, you know what I mean? The only thing is, I wish those features um, were just like, uh, like add-ons, you know what I mean? You start up the VPN, and then you can add all those features together. Especially one that I really wanted, which was Force HTTPS. That probably would have been the best option. That probably would have been the best. You know what I mean? Force HTTPS is probably the most useful thing I, ever. And that's the one that I always use for my videos, to make sure I'm on a secure connection. But besides that, it's a really great app, and I really, I really hope I, uh, like, I really hope this um, becomes a thing on the App Store, because you guys should get it too. Yeah, I mean, it's really great. So, uh, besides that, um, thank you guys for watching, and have a super gruff, highly specific, expeditious day.